Hello, uh, this clip is uh, a clip that I'm going to show you how to draw the shear diagram and the moment diagram for the rigid frame. Uh, the rigid frame in this problem uh, has the support at A is to fix. Okay and the P and the C is the pin and it has the rigid joint at B this frame is going to be going to have uh, the reaction at A uh, that's going to be three of them the A sub X A sub Y and also the the moment m sub a is a suffix support and then it's going to have the reaction what c sub x and c sub y here the frame gonna have gonna have five reaction and we have only three equation of equilibrium for this frame so this frame is going to be statically in the ter minutes frame with with two degree of of in the terminacy. However, the problem give you this to unknown degree of indeterminacy. They provide you with the a sub x of of ten point two three, and is going to put to the right. That means this one is going to be 10.23 kN. And it's also provide with the A sub Y upward of 27.42. So by doing this, you will have only three unknown left to determine the, the, the reaction so let us start by first by draw the free body diagram of the frame and then we will use and and use the equation Three equation of equilibrium to to find the reactions. Okay, uh, then we're going to have this. The frame, our frame, gonna be uh, four meter here and eight meter here. So this is going to be two centimeter for for four meter this is four meter i put it for two centimeter and then we have here and this is going to be four meter oh sorry four centimeter for eight meter of the frame and following that we will have the api uniformly distributed load here of six kilonewton per meter so this is going to be six kilonewton per meter and for the given information so we have this one of 10.23 kilonewton and this one of 27.42 kilonewton and then we have the unknown m sub a here that is loaded 
clockwise. And in this support, we have the C sub Y and we have the C sub X. Okay, we have the left frame axis. We have the free frame. We have the apply force. We have the unknown forces. And this is four meter. And this is gonna be eight meter. So what next you can do on this? Okay, let's just use the equation of equilibrium. By using the equation of equilibrium, let me take the moment at A first, summation of the moment at A, and A is here. Okay, this is the A, B, and C. Take the moment at A. When you take the moment at A, this is going to be, what, clockwise direction. So we will have this one for the M sub A. M sub A. When we take moment at A, the, <laughs> the, the problem occur, the what, the c sub x and c sub y is an unknown, so we cannot take this equation yet. So we going to leave it. So sometimes we used to know that the moment is supposed to take first, but some problem is won't be like that. Okay, so we going to take the summation of x sub x equal to zero. If we take that, we going to find c sub x. So we put this at the positive. And then our c sub x is, is going to in this direction. And then what we have is, is 10.23 is in the opposite direction. So the c x is going to be easily to find 10.23 kilonewton okay and you put this one the cx is is going to be what 10.23 the cx kilonewton and the direction is like this and next if you know this is only 10.23 kilonewton and next you do the summation of what summation of f sub y equal to zero by doing this our x of y is upward so we put the upward is positive this is c sub y and c sub y has this 27.42 in the same direction okay and and this uniformly distributed load gonna have the resultant here and the resultant gonna be six kilonewton per meter time eight meter okay and then what we have is just meter cut meter that's going to be eight time six that's it's going to be 48 kilonewton and it's going to to be in half of the eight meter so it's going to take four meter here and four meter here and then this one is downward, so it's going to be minus 48. Okay, and then it's equal to zero. And then our C sub Y going to be what? Going to equal to 48. And then minus, minus what? Minus 27.42. And you will get C sub Y what? You may stop the video clips and put the number into your calculator you're going to get this for 20.58 kilonewton okay if you tied it now you have this one <laughs> of 20.58 20.58 kilonewton and you also have this one already so now the equation of m sub a equal to zero is applicable. We have the clockwise, clockwise is the positive. So you may see this force is going to rotate clockwise. So it's going to plus 48. And this 48 going to time this moment arm. 
what is this? This is 4 meter. So this is m sub a plus 48 times 4. And then what? And then you get this c sub y gonna rotate in the opposite direction, counterclockwise. So you got to minus this is 20.58. And then the distance here is going to be the total of 8 meter. So it's going to time 8. And you also have the C sub x in this direction. And it's going to rotate counterclockwise. Sorry, counter with the, with the M sub a. So it's the opposite direction. So it's going to minus what? 10.23. And 10.23 gonna time 4. And then this is gonna equal to 0. So by putting this into the calculator again, you may stop your, your clips and trying to put the whole number into your calculator and see what you get. Okay? And if you stop, and you try to put this, this is going to be 13.56 kN. So this is going to be 13.56 kN meter. And it's going to rotate, rotate clockwise. So it's going to rotate clockwise like this. This is counterclockwise. This is clockwise. Okay. And also C sub Y, you got C sub Y of 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 twenty point twenty point five eight and kilo newton and put it upward. Okay, now you have your your reactions. When you have your reaction, now you can use the 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 free body diagram of each part. And, and then you can find the end moment, end shear. And then the next step, after you find the end moment and end shears, also the end axial load, you will have a chance to use the graphical method to, 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 to draw the shear diagram and moment diagram. So next, we are going to separate the, the frame into two pieces. This is going to be the beam and this is going to be the column. Okay. And also you have the joists. Okay. This joist is going to be the joy B. And this is going to be A, B and B, C. So next step, you will draw the free body diagram of the frame frame six min so you have two six min a b and b c and 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 use the equation of equilibrium to Phi, phi, n, 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 v, and m. That is going to be n, n of the member normal force, shear, and moment. And again, you have the distributed force for the beam VC. Okay, of what? Of six kilonewton per meter and what you get from from uh, the calculation of the friction this is again gonna be 20 oh sorry <laughs> next one this is gonna move a little bit okay this is gonna be 27.42 and this is gonna be Horizontal force of what? Of 10.23 kilonewton. And 
you have the moment m sub a okay in this one going to be m sub a going to be 13 this is kilonewton point five six kilonewton meter and you also have this at the c sub y and then you have is for 20.58 kilonewton and the c sub x you have this for 10.23 kilonewton okay so now it's up to you when you like to determine the end forces and moment at the end of the beam and end of the column and let me try to uh, determine first by this piece uh, BC and let me have uh, set this force as the V mm, actually it should suppose to be sub B if you like and also the force here is gonna be N sub B it's a normal force right and also the the moment that X here is M sub B actually I got the direction of this V sub B because uh, this force is going to be 20.58 and you know from the previous calculation that's the 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 resultant force here going to be 48 kilonewton so the V sub B for sure is going to be upward and also the normal force at B since 10.23 move to the left so this one going to move to the right however for M sub B you got to keep whatever you like okay and if it's post negative the SI direction going to be wrong ah okay and then from this we may go a little bit further to determine the internal forces and moment at N B of the beam B C uh, which one you like to use first is up to you you may use the summation of x sub x equal to zero so you got the n sub b like this so your n sub b gonna be what your n sub b gonna equal to 10.23 kilo newton that's going to be the first one 10.23 and you may put this one equal to 10.23 kilo newton and next you may have summation of f sub y equal to zero by doing this this is v sub b so up is plus so your v sub b is up is going to plus 20.58 these two upward and 48 is downward if you like you may just put it equal to 48 and then your V sub B is going to be 48 minus 20.58 and then if you stop the, the, the clips you may have a chance to put them in your calculator and you will get this for 27.42 this is 0.4 okay you get this v sub b is b of 27.42 kilo newton and let me mark this one this act at the center of the rectangular area so this one could be eight meter and eight meter i got to put this because the next equation we're going to take the summation of moment and let's take it about the b the b equal to zero and now this direction this set is positive okay so what you get is the moment at b counterclockwise counterclockwise and then you have this one these two forces have zero moment okay 
because it's at the point of B, no moment arm. This one is going to rotate the same direction. So plus, plus what? Plus 20.58. <coughs> and this 20.58 is, 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 oh sorry, <laughs> it's wrong. It's going to be 8 meter apart. Okay, that's the main arm is going to be 8 meter between B and C. And then you have this as the opposite moment. So you may get this one equal to 48. And then it's going to have the length of 4. Okay. If you do the calculation, you may stop now and put the number into your calculator and you will get the M sub B of M sub B is the moment kilo newton meter that's M sub B gonna be what this one gonna have the value of 164.64 okay and this is gonna value of 192 okay if you minus 192 with this you're gonna get m sub b of 27.36 okay now you get this guy of 27.36 kilo newton meter now and you may see the b the b the b has no 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 force and and moment so actually you can transfer the normal force the shear and the moment directly to the nb here due to that condition and if you try to understand this it will be show easily the n sub b n sub b gonna be here okay the v sub b by the third law of newton v sub b is downward okay and then the moment when you transfer here the moment gonna be this one and then if you use this again this one gonna be there this one and this one gonna be equal okay and this one is down so this one gonna be up okay they're gonna be up and the moment here rotates like that so the moment here gonna rotate like this okay by doing that if you do this again you may see that the moment here is gonna be the moment here okay that is gonna be 27.36 kilo newton meter and the axial force here gonna be here that is what this one equal to this one equal to this one 27.42 so this one gonna be 27.42 kilo newton and the 10.23 is this and it's gonna be 10 point two three kilonewton here and now when you transfer to this you may check the balance of the force and the moment for for this one this is what 10 20 sorry 27.40 this is going to be equal to this one and also this 10.23 this is going to be equal to this one easily and if you like to check for the moment if you like to check for the moment you may take the moment about a okay uh, let's check the moment about a summation moment about a equal to zero and then these two force produce mo no moment you have only 13.56 so this one gonna rotate like this and you have 13 13.56 and then what the 13.56 you have you have 
this 10.2t this 10.2t also have this direction okay so the 10.23 gonna minus 10.23 and this is gonna be 4 meter time 4 okay and by doing that you may have what this moment the 27 plus 27.36 and you may see if you put all this number into the calculator you will get the result of what you will get the result of zero and this is in balance so the moments you get are, are in balance okay okay now you are ready ready for what ready to draw the shear diagram and moment diagram and for this you may extend okay the the line like this and then for this one okay you may you may you may you may actually you may make a copy of this one into here and then you can draw it later here okay let me just move this one here okay and put the force clearly here this is going to be 10.23 kilonewton and this is going to be 27.42 this is 42 kilonewton and the moment here is 13.56 kilonewton meter and you have what hmm. this is not correct all right this is the force of oh sorry <laughs> this is going to be this force okay sorry sorry for this it's going to be in this direction so this one gonna be in balance if not it's what okay it's one so this one has the wrong direction it's gonna be like this for the 20 for 10.23 the s of x and on the top <laughs> you get this one sorry on that this one this one is 10.23 this is 10.23 kilonewton and you also have this one up this one down this one up so this one down this one also have this one for 27.42 kilonewton and this one you got this for 27.36 kilonewton meter okay when you when you when you going to the the diagram for for this column let me try to zoom it more like this and you're going to start by what setting up this axis along the column a b and this is going to be x meter okay and what and this is going to be the v kilonewton and what we have is we are going to draw this from this is zero meter to this is going to be four meter because this is four meter long column and we will start by what you start by here and what we have by the graphical method that is the third step is going to be what we going to have the 10.23 okay 10.23 if we set 10.23 that is going to be downward okay this is going to be downward we have this we have this 10.23 from the graphical method 
that is downward. And when it's downward, it's going to be minus 10.23 kilonewton. And then you move between A and B, there is no, there is no, no distributed force. So the slope here, dv by dx equal to zero. By this, it means this one going to be constant. Okay. And then what? You arrive here, you have the, the upward, upward for 10.23. And this one going to close here. And your shear diagram for this member can be determined easily. Okay, and then next, next, we come to this one, and what we have is this one going to be x meter, and the 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 axis here going to be the moment in kilonewton meter, and what we have is we have this. 27.42 rotate clockwise and you guys know that if we have the clockwise moment that means we going to have the the oh sorry we have this <laughs> we have this we have this not 27 we have this this is going clockwise moment and 13.56 that 13.56 is going to be positive. So, if you set 20 is like this, you may set this one is the 13. Okay, that is going to be plus 13.56. You don't need to put the unit because the unit is here already. And then what happened is, you come over here, you draw the moment diagram, you take a look at shear diagram, the shear is minus, so that mean this one gonna have the curve like this. This is for minus slope. If the slope is zero, is here. If the slope is positive, is like this. This is minus. Okay. And you may wonder, this one gonna be what? Actually, if you are really good on this, you can see there is the moment here for 27.36 okay if you don't care much you may get directly into this this is going to be two times of this about that okay this is going to be about a little bit larger than that for yeah okay this is going to be like this and and this one going to be minus of 20 7.36 you don't need to put this actually you did there because the unit is already here and what you get is the s here is equal to what equal to minus what 10.23 okay if you're not sure on this you may prove the moment here is this value or not okay Let's check, let's check with just the moment at what, at B, at B, moment B here, let's see, we don't know about it. We have the moment at A here, so minus 13.56. And then it's going to be equal what? It's going to be equal to the area, okay? under the shear diagram between that two point. So the area is going to be equal to minus 10 point, 10 point two three. And then it's going to term four. So your M sub B is going to be, let's say, plus 13.56 and then minus minus 
this number, 10.23 times 4. And if you place your this into your calculator, you will get n sub v equal to this number. Okay? That's going to be correct. And, and if you like, you may notice that we have the compression here. Okay? If you like to draw the axial force, you may set the 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 n. Okay, you may set the n kilonewton here, and also you have the x axis here, x axis here, x in meter, and what you get this compression is negative. Okay, twenty seven five four two. So. This one is going to be in minus, minus, minus of, minus of 27.42. And your axial load diagram is going to be like this. Okay? It's really similar to, to the shear diagram. Next. Next. We have the shear and moment diagram of the beam. Again, we set this one as the X meter. And you may see this is going to be what? This is going to be zero meter. And this is going to be eight meter. And the axis here of what is going to be V in kilonewton. Okay, we will start to draw from the B to the C, and if you may see, what shear force do we have? And if you take this, you may see the shear force is gonna be what? This is the no force. The shear force is gonna be this one. Sorry, this one, right? 27.42. So, this one gonna take up for 27.42. Uh, let's say if this is 30, 27.42, maybe around here. Okay, this is 20.42 and it's up. Okay, that is you use this number directly. And then you come over here, you got the 6 kN per meter. That means the glove gonna be downwards like this. Because the slope here, the dv by ds, is gonna be minus 6. Okay, if it's zero, it's gonna be horizontal. If it's positive, it's gonna be upward. Okay, so what value this one supposed to be? If you guys are good and you are really detailed on this, you may notice this one is going to be 20.05 because the 20.05 is going to be the one that's cross this. Okay, if this is 30, this is about cross this. Okay, if you are not sure what is going to be here, you may say. Okay, this is going to be V sub C. Let me put this in V sub C. V sub C here. V sub C here. Mm, minus. Minus what? Minus what? Minus 27.42. 27.42. And it's going to be the negative of the area of the distributed force. So, this is the total area of it. The total area is, is what? It's 48. So it's going to be equal to minus 48. So we can compute the V sub C is equal to minus 48. And then you move this one plus 27.42. So you get your V sub C here of what? Of minus 20, 20, 
0.58 and then kilonewton if you like you may put kilonewton if not it's okay and what you have is the graph is gonna be gonna be twisting here gonna be like this by proportion to got two door is proportionally okay and the slope is there and this point is the point of zero shear the point of zero shear is important because most of the time the moment is maximum or minimum here this is going to be what you may compute this one again this is 27.42 yes, yes. 27.42 and then divided by this is the x divided by the x and then you have this of slope this is going to be six so you can have x up and take the six down so it's going to be 27.42 divided by six okay and you can find this x equal to 4.570 meter okay that's uh for the shear diagram and then for the for the moment diagram we may put things into this and we will again start from here to here this is x meter and the vertical axis is is m in kilo newton meter and now you move to point b okay at point b you got what you got m sub b of 27.36 and that's m sub b is rotated counterclockwise when it's rotated counterclockwise this m sub b is negative okay and this m sub b will have the value of minus 27.36 so this is v minus 27.36 kilo newton meter if you like you can put okay and what draw the moment diagram you got to use the shear diagram draw the shear diagram you use the the segment of the structure and since this one is negative 27.36 and then what we have is the shear here is what 27.43 so you got the dv dm by dx equal to v so you got this of the s equal to plus plus equal to plus plus what plus 27.42 and then the value view the slope view decrease 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 up until here the shear is zero so the slope here gonna be zero so here gonna be zero and what's going to be the moment here hmm. what should I, I do the calculation okay I can do the calculation here the moment here minus the moment here the moment here is gonna be M M minus 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 of here is minus of minus 27 point point t6 okay and that is gonna be what this is gonna be the alley here okay you're gonna put this one equal to one half of of 4.57 and then it's gonna time the chair here 27.42 27.42 and you put everything in your calculator your m can be like uh, 35 point 
3 let's see t4 let's check kilonewton meter and that is going to be the value of the moment here okay if you put okay one centimeter at the 30 so this one gonna be kind of about this mm -hmm. this is gonna be the slope and this is going to be the slope so the curve is going to be upward like this and finally the c is the lower so this is going to be zero kilonewton meter and then this is zero slope and over here we're going to have dm by dx equal to v and then oh sorry dm by dx equal to v okay this is equal v is what v is 20.58 and negative so this is gonna be the negative slope like this and just put the s equal to minus 20.58 equal to this number and then your graph is gonna be downward like this okay that is the way we draw the the shear diagram and the moment diagram or if you like you also draw the axial force diagram you just extend this a little bit more a bit more okay this is going to be shear diagram you may say this is going to be v diagram okay and this is going to be m diagram okay and the last one if you like to put over here is going to call the n diagram okay the n the n the n the n, the n diagram and you may see if this is x meter the force acting in this member is again compression so it's going to be that one compression of what 10.23 the same as before this is going to be in the compression unlike previously the column is in compression of 27.42 this is going to be minus 10.23 and if you put this one as the n kilonewton so this is going to be constant force and this is minus sorry 10.23 kilonewton and they are all equal and this is going to be the axial load diagram okay okay and finally you got to find the maximum what maximum shear and uh, maximum moment and you may see uh, the maximum shear for the column is not equal to the maximum shear for the beam so when we decide it we supposed to separate the design of the beam and the column also the maximum for for the moment is here is 35.34 and the maximum for moment for the for the this one <laughs> for the column gonna be here and maximum shear maximum shear maximum shear is here for the maximum shear of this is like this for the maximum axial force they are different this one is equal to minus 10.23 and this one is minus minus 27.42 okay and in many times Ajahn also asks you to combine the frame to obtain the the final stress sorry final shear force diagram and final moment diagram let 
me a little bit show you by combining that. Uh, so our example will be very complete on that. The column, let's say four meter, two centimeter, and and this one going to be one, two, three, four. Okay, and what we have is the shear diagram, and what shear diagram this is going to be negative. Okay, and it's going to be minus ten point two three kilonewton, and it's also minus ten point two three here. Just put like this, and then you may say the slope here is zero. That's it's going to be the shear diagram, and then you have this one for twenty seven point four two. So this is 10 right so scaling that is going to be four times of this no 2.7 times of this this is three it's, uh, it's going to be three three times three that's it's going to be about this this is going to be plus 27.42 kilo newton get this and then this is going to be minus 20.58 so it's going to be about this this is going to be minus 20.58 kilo newton and then you get this diagram and you get the zero here and you got to put the slope here equal to minus six that is going to be the shear diagram. This is going to be the shear di diagram of the frame. Okay. And if you like to draw the diagram for the moment, okay, you let us put uh, the column here and put the beam here again this is going to be the moment diagram and it is up 13.56 this is up okay and then this is plus 13.56 kilo newton meter and then it's downward until here until here the moment here is going to be 27. Point this is going to be about this okay and the slope here s is minus 10 point 10 point 10 point what? 10 point two three and the value here is what minus 27 point three six kilo Newton meter okay and then come here this one also have the minus 27.36 this is going to be about this and you may point this one and the graph is going to be going to be up <laughs> to to this one of about of about here is 35.34 so over here is s equal to zero and this one is 35.34 kilo newton meter and the graph gonna have the shape like this okay it's gonna curve up like this and you also has the slope here it also have the value of minus 27.36 and it have slope the s equal to 27.42 and it's up like this and then it's also come down like this and you got the moment here of zero and you have the slope here equal to minus 
20.58 okay guys uh, it's important for us to to highlight the slope I like the slope I like the slope and highlight the slope and also if possible you got to highlight the value the value of this the value of this and this is zero and for this you may highlight like this one for s equal to zero s equal to minus six and then you highlight like some important value important value important value here also zero here okay okay that is the shear diagram and the bending moment diagram of our frame yeah it took some time to dot it and i hope you will be able to dot this kind of diagram i recommend you guys to start by watching this and then uh, i also like you guys to to do everything by yourself to practice this okay okay that's the end of the clip